520, you're in the diamond lane, and throughout the week, we've been featuring some of the outstanding participants in the Manitoba Band Association's summer camps. I'm joined by Madeline Penner for a solo oboe performance in this 5 o'clock hour of the diamond lane. Alrighty, I'll give you a point. Ready? Live in the Diamond Lane, you just heard Madeline Oboe. Madeline, that was, that was great. Thank you. That was absolutely beautiful. Listeners might have heard you before. You were here just a few months ago in January, right? Uh, yeah. So you've been busy with, with the Manitoba Band Association. You were in last time for the Solo and Ensemble Festival. Over the yep. summer, you participated in their summer camp. What, what was that like? Um, it was an amazing experience. Um, I really liked um, learning new songs and playing with other students that like band as much as I did. Yeah, when you were in last time, so I mean, you're in grade nine now. Uh, yeah. Last year, a uh, grade eight oboist, and one of the things you mentioned that kind of stuck with me was that you were the only oboe player in the band last year. Yeah. Did, did you meet some, some more oboe players at, at summer camp? Uh, yeah, there was two other oboists. What was that like? Um, that was a cool experience to play with other ones because um, I've never really done that before. Yeah, not a lot of young oboists around, mm -hmm. eh? Well, I mean, you've got such a such a beautiful sound. Um, how long were you at band camp over the summer? Um, just a week. Yeah, and did you learn a lot in the week? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, we played with professional like um, teachers, so yeah. I played with a professional oboist, and that was um, really cool, and I learned a lot of new things from her. Oh, no kidding. That's That's got to be really special. Um, what else did you do over the summer? I, I know you might have been doing some, some traveling. We were talking off the air. Oh, yeah. I went to Hungary. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And did you also head over to Vienna? Uh, yes, so in Croatia. Wow, that sounds like quite the trip. And you, you got to see Mozart's house. Uh, yes. That's pretty special. I'm, I'm very mm -hmm. jealous of that <laughs> because, it, it, I mean, it's on my bucket list. I can assure you of that. So you're in grade 9 now at, at, at River East? Yes. What, what's band like this year for you? Um, it's good. Yeah, I like the teachers. Uh, Mr. Mead um, is my band teacher, and Mr. Kula is also kind of my band teacher because yeah. I um, participate in like the woodwind, woodwind ensemble and oh, the jazz band. Oh, good for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and you're playing oboe for those as well. Um, yeah, but for the jazz band, I'm playing piano. Ah, okay. So we talked about this last time. It's good to know that you're keeping up both uh, piano and oboe. Uh, how do you find the time? Grade nine, <laughs> two instruments, lots going on. Yeah. I'm not really sure how I do it, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you just really make do. Um, Madeline, one thing I, I, I do want to ask you is um, over your time at, at Summer Band Camp, I mean, obviously you made an impression. Um, what did you win an award for over Band Camp? Um, for Outstanding Musicianship. Well, I think we can hear that in your playing. Um, any big band plans coming up in the near future for you? Um, I'm not really sure, but yeah, I don't know. <laughs> just going to continue to make music? Yeah. Oh, that was really lovely. Uh, Madeline, I want to thank you so much for coming here into the Diamond Lane and uh, for sharing your gift with us. That was, that was a really beautiful performance. Well, thank you.